Hi guys, right, finally got a chance to uh, test out the uh, T962A. Uh, what I decided to do first of all is just to put a couple of, uh, well, three thermocouples uh, just onto the metal plate here. There's one at the front, one at the back left, and uh, one just to the right. And uh, I'm trying to think where, right, so yeah, back left is the first one. The front middle is the middle one there, and this right hand one here is the the right hand display. So I'm going to just turn those on. I'm going to try and move them into a position where we can see all of the displays. So I'm just going to shut this back up carefully without cutting wires. All of those thermocouple tips are just slightly up in the air. So just see how even the uh, temperature is with just the fan. Now, I don't know whether we're going to get all of this on the camera or not. Now you see there's a slight difference. We've got uh, 17, 18 and 16.7 so you know a degree out uh, so not the end of the world so we're just going to fire this up There we go. Uh, right, so F1 Wave Auto Exec. Uh, F3 is the temperature curve, I think. So, yeah, we're going to stick with that one. Oh, if I could remember how to use it. <laughs> right, F1. There we go, so that's now started. So you can see the elapsed time here, the target temperature and the current temperature that it thinks doesn't quite confirm uh, to the readings above. But I'm going to leave that there. Hopefully you'll be able to see the values, the little plus symbols as it ramps up. Already quite a difference on the uh, middle right and the front middle. Not far off 20 degrees uh, difference there.
just gone into a short soak period. Don't know whether you'll be able to see the lamp coming on or not. So it's off at the moment, so that's the heater in effect. It's currently off, just in this ramp period here. Sorry, uh, soak and the lamp's back on. Hopefully you can see that on camera. But the temperatures here, we've got 142, 148, so that doesn't correspond to anything I've got on the uh, on the meters above. Uh, looking at this ramp here, it's you know at least 150 where that soak was, and then it's ramping up again, 160, 162. Absolutely nothing like it on these thermocouples. <laughs> I don't quite know where the uh, the unit's taking its temperature from. <laughs> Well, according to the unit itself, it thinks it's up around the 200 degree region, and the highest temperature we've got is 140 on the thermocouples. Smoke coming out of it now. So that's pretty much peaked at two, three, five, was it? I think it's cooling down now. Highest temperature reading we've got was what, one, six, four? And that's actually going down as well. So Christ knows where they're taking that reading from, somewhere up in the lid where the heat's risen to. <laughs> hmm. I think the next test will be to uh, get a few boards in there with some solder paste and uh, just put the boards in various positions and see if it actually reflows the uh, or flows the paste
and it's actually followed the profile curve quite nicely but uh, yeah the concern is how accurate is that and we've got the big fan kicked in now Possibly the next test should be raising the thermocouples much higher up uh, rather than being just off of that metal tray. You can see the fan kicking in and out now to get this ramp down uh, accurate. Which is great, but it just doesn't bear any resemblance to uh, what we're actually seeing on the meters above. probably remember from the previous videos the reason we're doing all of this is because we have the full upgrade kit from ES Technical and uh, as I said before Ed Simmons has kindly sent the full package for installation so we can upgrade this unit and then put it through its paces after the upgrade but we've got to have some figures to start with I was just leaving that to see if it would uh, cool down you know, automatically anymore with that profile but it seemed to be stuck at that level with the alarm saying that it had finished. So uh, we'll just leave that open to cool. Actually I'll just bring the camera back a fraction. So you can clearly see the left one here 
they're all about well, five, six mil up in the air. This one probably a bit higher. And that's still yeah, 30, 40 degrees. So yeah, there we go. That's the first test with uh, just the thermocouples in the uh, in the tray. I think we'll um, see about bringing them up a, a little bit higher. Well, I'm not convinced it's going to make a massive amount of difference, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, first uh, first video update on that uh, T962A. Catch you later.